Hi, this is John West from Information Active. I'd like to thank AuditNet for giving us the opportunity to show you some of the keyword analytics you can perform using Active Data. You can use Active Data's Query Sheets, Query by Example command to search for a range of values in a specific worksheet column. Select and check the column to query. Check the column contains option and then click on the range button. I have a list of search words stored in a worksheet called keywords. I'm going to select 25 or so items, although you can select up to a thousand. Note that the search is case insensitive, so it doesn't matter what case your list is in. Active Data will search through the selected column and extract the matching items into a new worksheet. Use Active Data's Global Find command to search for a list of keywords in the workbooks located in the folder or network location you specify. Click on the Range button to select the keywords you'd like to search for. Again, I'm going to select 25 or so items, although you can select up to 1,000. Check the Include Subfolders option and then click on the Find button. Active Data will open each workbook and then search each worksheet for the keywords in your list. The search results are displayed in an expandable tree view. This shows you all of the matches for the selected workbook. You can double click on a row to display the matched item. The Save as Sheet button saves the search results into a new worksheet. The new worksheet contains hyperlinks to each of the matched items. To create a word summary, otherwise known as a word frequency table, highlight the cells containing the text you're interested in and use Active Data's Word Summary command. This produces a grid that lists each word and the number of occurrences. You can double click the column names to sort them in ascending and descending order. Clicking on the Excel icon saves the word summary to a new worksheet. The Active Data Text Analytics utility lets you create word summaries and perform keyword searches on Word, PDF, and text documents on your computer or network. First, click on the Browse button and select a location on your computer. Next, check the document types you'd like to search and the Include Subfolders option. Click on the Scan button to generate a list of files. Now click on the Word Summary tab at the bottom of the window. Check the options that you'd like and click the Summarize button. The software will extract the text from each file, split it up into words, and then produce a summary. The summary lists each unique word, its count and frequency, as well as its length and starting and ending character. You can double-click the column names to sort them in ascending or descending order. Click on the Excel icon to save the word summary to a new worksheet. You can create a word summary for a single item by double-clicking on the Number of Words column. Double-click the folder name to display the folder in Windows File Explorer. Double-click the file name to open it.
I'll start by highlighting the keywords that I'm interested in and then copying them to the clipboard so I can paste them into the text analytics utility search box a little bit later on. Next, I'll run the text analytics utility and select the location on my machine to search. I'll check all of the file types as well as the include subfolders option and then click on the scan button. Now I'll paste in the keywords I copied from Excel and then click on the search button. The search results are displayed in a collapsible tree. Click on the plus button to expand an item. Double click a matched item to see it in the context of the original text from the document. The Excel icon lets you save the search results to a new worksheet. Right-clicking on a cell lets you expand or collapse the matched items. You can extract the text from all of your Word, PDF, or text documents and save it into a single text file using the Text Extraction tab towards the bottom of the window. Enter the name of the file in which to save the extracted text and then click on the Extract button. After the process completes, the software will display the resulting text file in Notepad or Notepad++ if you have it configured as a replacement for Notepad. The software wraps the text from each item in tags that identify the item's location and last update date. If you have Microsoft Outlook installed, then you can perform word summaries and keyword searches on mailbox items. Click on the Outlook tab and then click on the Browse button to select an Outlook folder. Now click the Scan button. The software will scan all of the items in the selected folder and create a list of all of the messages it found. Now you can use the Word Search tab to perform a keyword search. Expand the search results and double-click on a matched item to see it in the context of the text from the message. Double-click the message subject in the File column to open the message in Outlook. You can create word summaries the same way as you would for Word, PDF, and text documents. The process can be quite time-consuming depending upon the size of the mailboxes you plan on analyzing. Text extraction works the same way as it does for Word, PDF, and text documents. If you'd like to try the text analytics utility, you can download it from informationactive.com slash textanalytics. In less than a minute, you can download and install the free, fully functional 30-day trial version of Active Data for Excel.